do get price spikes as well. Mm -hmm. I think one of the things that people have been a little bit negative online about is because they've been sold this dream of these price spikes happening all the time. Mm -hmm. You see screenshots online when you get these really big price spikes of people selling energy back to the grid at massive amounts and making, making quite a lot of money in a mm -hmm. short period. And then I think there's some solar retailers out there that are potentially pitching that as a common thing. And that's where it's been a little bit negative feedback. So what is a price spike? And um, how does it work, if you can tell us? Yeah, so a price spike in Amber World is when we see the wholesale cost of electricity rise. Um, you know, we can see that get as high as $19 a kilowatt hour in some places. I think in South Australia, it actually gets as high as 21 kilowatt hours. I think I've seen the screen. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and where this comes from is essentially a lot of demand and stress onto the grid. Um, so, you know, we typically see them in summer when people are coming home during those peak hours and it's a hot day and they're turning on um, all their appliances, their air conditioning. Um, we can see that price really start to climb. Um, another place we can see price spike happens is if there's uh, scheduled ma maintenance on some of these oh, yeah. generation assets like these coal, um, coal plants or these um, gas generators, that can also increase the, uh, the wholesale cost. Um, how Amber notifies customers of that is uh, you'll see in your app, you'll get a push notification. It'll either be a text message or a email, depending what you've chosen to opt into. Um, it'll also display in the app saying, hey, there's a price spike event coming up. Now's a good time to throttle down your usage so you're not importing from the grid. And if you've got a battery, it's actually a really exciting time because this is where you can potentially make um, quite a lot of money if that, if that wholesale price increases. Mm. Yeah, as you say, like if you're getting charged twenty-one dollars a kilowatt hour, mm. you got your battery there, so you're not actually paying that mm. because you've charged it either through solar or you've charged it during the day yeah. with the grid with those really low fees yeah. that you have access to, and then you can sell it back potentially at quite a few dollars per kilowatt hour yeah. for that short space, space of time. The only thing that we warn people of there is just don't base your decision on those price spikes alone because they're not every day. That's they're, right. They're yeah. not common, and um, you should really be comfortable with solar battery and Amber yep. without them. And then I just see them as a bonus, really. That's right. Yeah. And look, back in the premium feed-in tariff days, you know, like a good feed-in rate was, what, 60 cents? That was the best, yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So, you know, as much as we're talking about a $19 event here, like, yeah, they are, they are few and far between. Um, we do see a lot more events where, you know, you might be getting up around that 60 cents, a dollar, $3, $5, $10. Okay, yeah. And then, like you say, it's not, when you see that, as a customer of someone who is open to the volatility of the wholesale market, mm. you might think, oh, that's a bad thing. But it's not if you're appropriately yeah, sized. It's actually right. the best time. Yeah, it's an opportunity. It's fantastic. And uh, yeah, we haven't had many since I've moved to Amber. I only moved a few months ago. Yeah. And obviously now coming into summer, there'll be a few more. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, for the average day consumer, they may think, well, I don't want to be part of that. But if you've got a battery that will definitely cover you, that's when that's the best time. Yeah, that's right.